Ow! <clears throat> Same situation again, Tom. And once again, you can't decide. Damn it. You did it! But they'll get you all the same. Salieri will get you. He stood by you, you rat. You're dangerous, Tom. And Paulie <laughs> is dead. He was never, never sure that you would, wouldn't forgive his death. Oh, you're gonna have to hide like an outcast. And one day they'll get you all the same. Like Frank. They found him? You only le lengthened his life. But in the end, they found him. All the same. And Frank was the Don's only real friend. Friendship ain't worth shit. <laughs> oh, ah, ow. Oh, uh. So it was you again, huh? You destroyed the picture collection? Worth a few million dollars? I wasn't planning on it, but somehow it worked out that way. Otherwise, that's everything? I got out of there fast. It was no picnic. I really was in danger, but I pulled it off. I took the wife and daughter and immediately left the country. Sam was right. If they decided to find Frank in Europe and take revenge almost five years after he disappeared, they wouldn't let me just leave after betraying them. And you're willing to say all that you've now said to me in front of a court? And give evidence against all those men? Don't you think the situation will be a lot worse for you? What you're planning to do now isn't betrayal. It's more like treason. If these people go to jail, or better yet, death row, they won't be able to take revenge on me. At least not as easily as if they were free. I am willing to give evidence against them if you ensure our protection and after the trial, a new identity for me, my wife, and my daughter. If we manage to pull it off, it'll be the biggest legal battle this country's ever seen. It's an interesting offer. I don't know if it's moral to help somebody like you, but I think the results will be worth it. I think we'll help you. Everything worked out until the legal case. I sat in my cell and wrote down the evidence I had against all the people I had worked with. People I had been friends with for 10 years. The case was huge and caused a shock throughout the country. Salieri got life. Even some of his thugs got the chair. The shorter sentence was eight years. I spent the whole time in a closed cell at a secret location with no visitors. I didn't see Sarah or my little girl the entire time. In the end, it was worth it. Norman got us new identities and moved us to the other end of the U.S. I got work as a driver for a respectable company. 
We started a whole new life. This peace was only interrupted by the war, but we got through it. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. You know, the world isn't run by the laws written on paper. It's run by people. Some according to laws, others not. It depends on each individual how his world will be, how he makes it. And you also need a whole lot of luck so that somebody else doesn't make your life hell. And it ain't as simple as they tell you in grade school. But it is good to have strong values and to maintain them in marriage, in crime, in war. Always and everywhere. I messed up. So did Polly and Sam. We wanted a better life, but in the end, we were a lot worse off than most other people. You know, I think it's important to keep a balance in things. Yeah, balance, that's the right word. Because the guy who wants too much risks losing absolutely everything. Of course, the guy who wants too little from life <laughs> might not get anything at all. <laughs> 